only when we move with the holy spirit we can keep up our saltiness because in the world there are so many elements so many forces so many issues ready to take away our saltiness but if we move with the spirit if the salt is burnt with the fire yes and a man of the spirit he moves with them with their weakness he builds them up as a father he keeps them together and he built up a beautiful community in antioch which was known as the first time a christian community a group of people the believers turn into christians we believe in christ we live for christ if it is needed we will die for christ and the purpose of our life is the wages of sin is death and jesus died for us and he is our lord and savior he is risen and he is with us and we will even if we die our soul will go to him and we will be with him forever and ever they confessed and now barnaba should have been very happy his name will be written in the golden letters that he is the one who started the first christian community from there he can move on barnaba yes nobody is accepting saul so saul a disappointed man he went to arab to the to the desert and he prayed there and then when he returned back nobody wants to take him even to the apostles no apostles wanted accept him he was not with the lord so he went back to his home town called tarsus my dear friends when barnabas heard it oh this saul who was met by the lord and no single talent of any individual should be left out we should encourage in the lord so barnabas goes to tarsus and pulls out the discouraged person paul and brings him back to antioch and makes him to speak the word of god and it is the same barnabas later takes paul to the apostles to jerusalem barnabas remained in the back side and when he noticed paul is preaching better than him he said whether i preach he preaches jesus has to be preached his kingdom has to come so barnabas remains in the back seat and pushes paul go ahead this is only can happen through the power of the holy spirit if barnabas was not there saul or paul would not have come into the picture at all he would have been in the bible of food in the footnote a man full of salt who always offered himself to the holy spirit who moved with the goodness and kindness of the holy spirit the joy of the holy spirit he kept alive and then we find a person called mark he was supposed to be with them and suddenly mark made a mistake he went there and he did not come back and the winter is coming paul was so angry and mark did not come back then after some time when mark came Paul was so angry he said get out from here don't come Barnabas says no Paul we cannot do like that we have to forgive they were both had a difference of opinion they were almost not agreeing regarding mark because of mark Barnabas says the community is already built up Paul you remain you are a better preacher you remain build up the church i move away from here a man who built up everything leaves to paul and takes away the unacceptable man called mark and takes him our god takes all the broken pieces and makes into a masterpiece and all those who move in the spirit they realize in their lives there are so many broken people 
There are so many disturbed people. And the world calls them a burden. The world calls, oh, they are sick people. They are HIV children. They are old people. It's a burden for them. No. For God's children, we see God in everybody. Barnabas takes Mark the broken man. I wonder how Mark might have felt. Yes, I made a mistake. But because of me, Paul and Barnabas, they are fighting. Barnabas took Mark and filled him with the love of Jesus. That Mark became the first person to write the gospel of St. Mark. There is no small, Shakespeare says, life is like a drama. There are so many small parts, but there are no small players. Even if the man who is opening the screen, if he opens in the wrong time, the meaning of the play will go away. Or closes in the wrong time, the meaning of the play will go away. There are so many small parts, but there are no small players. That's why in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20, St. Paul himself says, In the house of God, there are variety of vessels. Some are made of gold. Some are made of silver. Some are even made of wood. Some are even made of mud. But there is nothing big or small. God has created every vessel for a purpose. When we are thirsty, summer comes, nobody keeps the water in the golden vessel. If it is cold and pot is there, we need 100 watchmen for that. But we keep the water in the mud pot. And the mud pot does the mighty work which the golden pot cannot do. Yes, quenches the thirst of many. Everything is created for a purpose. And the beauty of the Holy Spirit is when Barnabas built a mark, later we read in 2 Timothy chapter 4, St. Paul says, please send a mark to me when he was in jail. And Mark humbles himself, goes to serve Paul. And Paul becomes such a loving man. Yes, yes, love is contagious. Even when you are rejected, continue to love. Continue to be in the fire of the Holy Spirit. And that's what. A person dedicating oneself to the Lord. But it's the winter season. Jesus' disciples, maybe they are tired or they could not get up, maybe. But Jesus, he was there. Early morning he was there. And it is, winter means, you know, there it will be terrible cold. So, he is walking on the portico of Solomon, remembering what, how God anointed Solomon and how Solomon did not, though he received so much of salt, so much of life and blessing, how he lost everything. Maybe he was meditating on that. And then the Jews came and said, Are you the Christ? Tell us. Jesus says, you are not belonging to me because my sheep will hear my voice. They will understand me and they will be with me. And I tell you, the one who trusted me, I will keep them till the end of my life. Means there is no end for it. He is God. He says, I will keep them. Nobody can will be allowed to snatch them from me. And my father is greater than me. And they are in the hands of my father. Nobody can snatch. Yes, I will. Those who offer themselves to me, I will continue to sustain them. My father will continue to sustain them through the Holy Spirit. Let's close our eyes and pray. What a mighty God we have. Lord, may your goodness, may your love live in us, Lord. Give us the spirit of that you gave to Barnabas. Give us your own spirit, Lord. I will never allow anyone who trusts in me to be snatched away from me. 
my father will guard them the spirit will lead them lord help us to be aware of the saltiness that you have given to us help us to be aware there are so many sources deep calls to deep and my soul finds no place than him lord lord i want to abide in you lord i want to be with you that my saltiness will continue to remain the goodness and the love you have given to me will be continued to be a blessing for the mankind yes lord you have blessed me that all that you have given me should not die with my life here even after my death what you have given to me will continue to live what you have given to me will continue to bless thousands of people thank you lord thank you lord like barnabas help us to burn our salt in your fire o holy spirit of god you are calling us o god of depth you call us to enter into your depth and make our lives a depth one thank you lord